Hi, in this video, we will introduce a new notion of nullity for matrices, and we revisit the rank, and we will see what is the relation between rank and nullity. Well, let us recall that for any matrix, n by n matrix, no matter what, what are the dimensions, we assign three subspaces. One is the row space of A, then a column space of A, and then a null space of A. Now we want to study what is the relation between the dimensions of these subspaces. Well, let, let me start with the dimension of uh, row space of A. Dimension is equal to number of vectors in a basis. Well, we learned that the non-zero uh, vectors uh, or non-zero rows uh, in the reduced row echelon form of A form a basis for row space of A. So their number is equal to dimension of row space. And uh, while uh, in the reduced row echelon for every non-zero row starts with a leading one. So the number of non-zero rows is equal to number of leading ones in the reduced row echelon form of A. And while well, each leading one can live in only one and exactly one column, so the number of columns with a leading one, columns of reduced row echelon form with a leading one, is the same thing as the number of leading ones, yeah? But we learned that uh, the um, columns on um, uh, columns of A uh, corresponding to columns in reduced row echelon form with leading one so if we take all these guys these are uh first of all they're going to have the same for each column in the reduced rational form with leading one we pick the corresponding column from a so their numbers are going to be equal to the uh, number of leading ones also, we learned that such columns from A form a basis for the column space of A. And since we are counting that, that means that we are basically counting or find, finding the dimension of column space. Yes, as you can see, the, the dimension of row space theorem, dimension of row space of matrix is going to be equal to dimension of column space of A. And while this is a good news, at least the dimensions of these two are equal. And since these are equal, it's better to have a name for that. But if you look carefully here, this you see that number of leading ones or number of non-zero rows in row reduce echelon form or echelon form reduce uh, row echelon form these are we already had a name for this it's called rank of a yes so this is basically another definition for rank of a which for any matrix a rank of a is equal to dimension of row space of A, which is the same thing as dimension of a column space of A. Since we already chose a name for the dimension of these two, why not we choose a name for the dimension of null space? That's the second thing come in, comes in the definition 
for a matrix A, the dimension of the null space of A is called nullity of A. So now we know that these two are having same dimension, rank, we call it rank. This guy is nullity. What is the relation between nullity and rank? Before that, let's do some examples. Find the rank and nullity of um, some back to some matrices. So here, you always start with the matrix. You go to row echelon form or reduce row echelon form. I already have a reduce row echelon form here for this matrix. This will be 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, negative 1, and 0, 0, 0. The number of non-zero rows or leading ones is the rank. And the number of, you see, uh, dimension of nullity is what? So you have, this column has a leading one, this column has a leading one. If you're trying to solve homogeneous system AX equal to 0, this column is going to be our free variable or free parameter and we have only one of them and the vector in the solution of the system which is multiplied to this parameter is going to be our only linearly independent vector in in the um, solution space so in other words the nullity of a is equal to 1 in this case. How about this other one? Again, we do row uh, reduce it. I have the reduce row echelon form 1, 0, 2, 1, and then 0, 1, 1, and negative 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. Count the number of non zero rows. That's the rank of A count the columns without leading one the number of parameters that is going to be uh, nullity sorry nullity of the matrix which is two in this case and as you can see nullity and rank might be different numbers but based on the relations that we just were talking about every column in uh, a is when you row reduce it yes it's either going to have a leading one so um, column with a leading one or it is going to be a column without leading one in the reduce rash long form yes leading one so their numbers if you add the columns with leading one columns without leading one it's going to be equal to the total number of columns and we already saw that the number of columns with leading one is basically the dimension of row space which is rank of a the number of columns without leading ones are the number of free parameters in the solutions AX equal to zero, which is equal to nullity of A. So what we showed here is basically the relation between nullity and rank. This is the theorem that we already had. It's called the the rank theorem and it says that for uh, an M by N matrix A we have we have this relation between rank and nullity rank of A plus nullity of A going to be equal to 
number of columns, which is equal to n. So this finishes what we were aiming at, the relation between the dimensions of row space and null space. Well, the row space and column space, we already learned that they have same dimension. And you have to know this theorem and you have to be able to use it.